Hey guys, this is Slamming Rush. I am a complete noob when it comes to sim racing, so I wanted to do something different, and I wanted to try playing a track that I have no experience with. This is the Circuit of the Americas in F1 2019, and I wanted to see how fast I could get on a track that I have no experience in over the course of an hour. So we're in the Ferrari. I chose the Ferrari because I like the colors, and uh, I basically have to learn this track. I don't know anything about it except from what I've seen. Uh, in videos basically. So I know there's a left hand turn right here. It goes into a semi long straight And what's interesting about this first turn up here is that it basically you're breaking uphill So I think you can break a lot later and What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna have to find that out because I don't know where it is Tried breaking kind of at the white line right there And it's really weird how wide the track is. I'm not used to that at all from here It's a series of S's. This is a lot of fun to drive in if I recall But I think you don't see the apex and you basically have to guess where that apex is You can see I already invalidated the lap chime, which is fine. Just kind of want to see where I'm at right now now. Okay, I think it's a left-hand turn from here, but you can't see shit, so you have to actually memorize this track for it to work. From here, it's a right-hand turn that goes into a left. There we go, into left, perfect. And then basically, it's a straight. So, what I'm gonna do is... This is one of those weird things where I think if you sit on the right hand- Oh, way too late. I think what happens with this section of the track is if you sit way too wide on the right-hand side, uh, you're wasting time. Like, I think you can go in left a bit more in your braking zone, if that makes sense. You don't need to sit on the edge of the track. I'm not sure. From here, it's a straight into another really hard braking zone. I'm gonna start braking at about 100, see what happens. Yeah, I slowed down way quickly there, which is fine. Okay, and then from here, it's really hard. You go wide of the track, I think, down into about second. Turn, there we go. And I always have trouble with this area because what happens is if you're running hot lap ERS sitting, you get so easy to lose the car. So there we go, miss the apex, which is fine. What's I don't know what the current time is on. It says default ghost. That's fine. Okay. And then from here, this is the last couple turns of the track. You can't see the apex of this one again. You can see. You basically, have to guess. Hit, try to hit it in fourth, and I know for a fact that you can kind of hit this one in second. Try to clip the apex, then we'll see what our time is. We're 30 seconds up on the ghost, who's an absolute noob. But you can see our first lap on this map is a 141.1, one. and I've like basically never done this thing. So I want to see how many seconds I can shave off of that. I think I need to do like probably 10. <laughs> we'll see how fast I can get over the course of an hour. So we're about 15 minutes in, six completed laps. I've been kind of caught into the restart loop at this point because I keep trying to increase my best time. Now I keep restarting and I'm just gonna not do that for this lap. Basically I've learned to start breaking about here. That was a bit late. I'm gonna have to turn in a bit late because of it and that's gonna, we still got a really good exit out of there. You can see we're gonna gain time on my previous time as we drive through here. This is one of the hardest turns on the circuit. You do have to totally blindly steer in and then braking through it is really annoying because it totally fucks up like the weight in the car. It's really easy to overdrive this. From here it's a sharp left hand turn. Try to cut that a bit, then from here we get into the left side as much as we can, down to third, straight through here, and I'm basically just going to floor it once I get through here, and we'll pick up a lot of time down this straight if we can. Not this straight, the next one. So, on this straight I've learned to break after the 100, because you don't really pick up enough speed to justify breaking well. Before the 100, step on the gas to try to get a good, good exit and turn the car around, we managed to do that. We're up three tenths already, we're going to gain a lot of time as we go down this straight right here. And once again, I keep braking really early. So normally on Formula 1 tracks, it seems like you have to brake slightly before the 100 with these cars. But on this track, for whatever reason, braking after the 100 works perfectly. Now here, really easy to take it too quickly, also too slowly. Definitely get on the gas to try to turn the car around a bit. That's what the 100... That's why I have the differential set to a higher percentage. We're already up a second, which is fucking insane. From here, I've learned not really to take my foot off the gas until here, where I downshift, and then from here it's just flat out. Get over to the right-hand side of the track, brake, fourth gear, there we go, perfect. We lost some time there compared to our other laps, that's fine. Here, I'm just gonna make sure I don't lose the car. Holy shit, that's tight. And that's 0.7 up already. So we're down to a 136.1. I'm gonna keep practicing, come back in 15 minutes. Perfect, so I just took that insanely well. I'm gonna slow down here because I don't want to miss this apex to the left. 
There we go. Awesome. Now we get over to the left side of the track. This is third, if I recall. There we go. Perfect. Now I have to be really careful with the throttle because I don't want to lose the car like I did just now. And then from here, I have to cut. There we go. We're up three tenths already. Incredible. So from here, break after 100. I can see the pylon, which is so nice because otherwise the mirrors block that curve. Get a decent exit, I think. No, it was really shitty. Okay, so we're going to lose a lot of time, but there's going to be time to be had after the straight because i got a bad exit what i can do is i can break later and i know that so we're gonna kind of break slightly after the hundred let's try this see what happens holy shit that was fucking fantastic okay i'm gonna get out of here perfect get over the left side of the track from here i think i basically coast and downshift to slow the car down and get it turned around from here it's flat out up to about here where it's downshifting light braking there we go apex nice I think that was insanely quick. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take this curb here, let off the gas slightly, try to get the car to the right. Holy shit, that's scary. From here, break. Oh, I nailed that. Oh my god, last turn. Second, try to get the car turned around. No! Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> we were 0.7 of a second up. Let's try again. Alright, so this is the last lap in the attempt to see how fast we can go in the course of an hour. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot because it totally makes it way harder to drive. We'll just see how fast we can go. That was the gayest line I think I've ever said. Just the tone, you know? Okay, lost some time there, but overall we're still beating our best time, which is a 136.1. And it kind of turn. Oh, fuck. Okay, I have to slow down, try to make this... I miss the apex, right? So I have to make the most of what we have. Okay, I think I took that decently. Okay, perfect. So we were down half a second at one point in this lap. Now we're down 0.2, which is fine. Okay, we're now we're down 0.8. So I'm definitely not making this lap perfect. And, you know, the consistency will get better with practice, but we're up... We're down 0.5. 0 0.05, so that's really good as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now 0.2, we're up by 0.2, which is perfect. I'm surprised that didn't invalidate my lap. Try to get out of here quickly, there we are, we're up 0.3, fantastic. Holy shit, downshifting really helped the car turn around right there. Point two at this point. Try not to fuck up this turn. Missed the apex a bit, but that's fine. We're up half a second. Holy shit. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna do one more. That was half a second quicker, and there's definitely time in that. I want to see how quick I can go. I feel like there's about half a second in this lap time, at least. Maybe even a full second. It's really hard, because I'm not an experienced driver, so I don't necessarily know where that is, but... Nice. Oh my god, I almost lost the car. Okay. So next thing is to hit this apex and not take too much curve. Just not fuck up the lap right here. Grab half a second, pretty much. Okay. So we're going to lose time because the exit was bad, but that's fine. I did really well in those S's. I made about three tenths. Okay, we're going to maybe lose some time down the straight. That's fine. We're up three tenths, so we could actually get a half a second out of this lap, especially towards the end, because I did fuck that up. The main thing is just not to screw up this turn right here. It's going to break slightly late. And it feels like if you don't downshift while braking, you actually can brake a lot quicker. Okay, should have taken more curb, that's fine. Get the car turned around. Try not to lose a rough half a second. Really light on the throttle through here. There we go, get the car out of there, perfect. Now we just hold on to the gas. This is the turn where you slow down on the gas, good. And this is always where I screw up, rough point seven, incredible. curb i think this is going to be a great exit okay holy shit there was 0.8 seconds in the lap we got down to a 135 zero incredible <laughs> that is way better than i thought we're about six seconds faster than our fastest time after about an hour and a half of playing 
Oh, this game is so rewarding. Holy shit. <laughs> it's so nice because there's no RNG. Still, I'm going to call the video here. I thought that was a lot of fun. I ended up completing 21 laps over the course of an hour and a half. Lots of restarts. Um, God damn, there's so much time left. I don't know what the best time on this track is, but I feel like you could totally do a 134, maybe even a 133. So I can actually look. What's the best time? All right, so our best time was a 135. I had no assists, which, you know, why would you drive with assists? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> People are incredibly quick. Jesus, I am so slow. So these guys literally can do a 128.6 on this map. I have no clue how. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. Literally six seconds behind all of them. But, you know, I, it's not like I've been playing this game for a lot. I've literally practiced on this map for about an hour and a half. And, uh, damn. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely not good at this game, but I hope you enjoyed watching me suck at it and kind of get better through the hour and a half that I played. And, uh, yeah, I thought I did really well considering my experience. So if you want to see more, be sure to like and the subscribe button. There's going to be a World of Tanks video tomorrow. Then I'm going on vacation, which I would love. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.